Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got Courtside Seats for my review of Parallel Minds. Let's do it. Parallel Minds is a sci-fi thriller from writer-director Benjamin Ross Hayden and Level Film. The movie stars Greg Brick, Tommy Amber Peary, Neil Napier, Madison Walsh, Michelle Thrush, Wilma Pelly, and Chelsea Ann Green. In the near future, an AI called Erm is investigated by a detective and researcher for a lab about to release a contact lens with the power to record what the eye can see to recreate memories. So welcome back to my ongoing coverage of the Blood in the Snow Film Festival, a film fest based here in Toronto that's all about horror, genre stuff, underground cinema. I've got a few reviews from the fest up on my channel right now if you want to go check those out. This is the last of them. Today we're reviewing Parallel Minds. And I hate to say this, but I was not a big fan of this movie. I quite like the idea, and there's some other aspects that I really dug, and I'll get to those, but overall it didn't work for me all that well. I'm not familiar with most of the cast of this film, but there are a couple people in here that I do know and like. Greg Brick, who also started another movie from the Blood in the Snow Film Festival that I reviewed called Bloodthirsty. I liked him in that. I liked him in this. Tommy Amber Peary, I know from another Canadian movie called James vs. His Future Self. Honestly, I thought she was better in that, but it was the better movie. Honestly though, for the rest of it, I didn't think a lot of the acting in this movie was all that strong, although a lot of that I do think is down to a kind of wobbly script. I did very much appreciate that this film had a lot of Indigenous representation. Indigenous people are a large portion of the Canadian population, and they're often misrepresented or not represented at all. Apparently the director of this film is actually of Métis descent himself, and I liked that this represents wasn't just surface level lip service. The film gets into the lifestyle and beliefs of the indigenous peoples of Canada, and I respect that quite a bit. Now Brick's character is named Thomas Elliot, and as a man with a healthy appreciation for Batman, I found that a little wee bit distracting as Tommy Elliot is the alter ego of the Batman villain Hush. That doesn't actually affect the movie in any way, I just thought I'd point it out because I'm a geek. I did think that this movie looked beautiful. The production design was great, and while you could tell the movie was made on a fairly meager budget, it never looked cheap. And most of the tech in this movie looks really cool. There are a couple of pieces that you could tell were cobbled together from what looked to be PVC pipe and Christmas lights, but overall I thought it all looked pretty good. Further, this is a beautifully shot film. My understanding is it's filmed in the Canadian prairies, and while it's augmented with visual effects, we still do see the majesty of the land. The cityscapes look great, and really, aside from a couple moments here or there, this movie is really visually appealing. Even the AI itself is original. Sure, it takes some ideas from things like The Matrix, but on a purely visual standpoint, it's very much its own thing. We also see Thomas Elliot driving in a car a couple of times, and the way that the scenes are framed, really close, tight up shot on the windshield, it gives us a very noir detective feel. I really dug that. Despite a short runtime, this movie does get a little bit dry. I did find myself tuning out. And in the finale of the movie, we get a huge exposition dump in the form of a monologue from the villain. I will say straight up that the character looked really cool, but the monologue kind of kept going. It got a little bit trying. Overall, I was not a huge fan of Parallel Minds. There's a really great idea in here, some really strong visuals, some really valid performances, but at the end of the day, the movie didn't coalesce into something that I would like wholeheartedly recommend. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Parallel Minds, and I think I'm gonna give Parallel Minds a out of 10. So now I wanna know, are you looking forward to Parallel Minds? What's your favorite AI sci-fi movie of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.